Hey, what's going on? I just got done with an absolute incredible, incredible interview with the CEO of Voquent. Uh, his name is Miles. I was um, blessed and honored to uh, to interview him for the podcast, but the things that he had to say uh, about you know the the just the voiceover industry and learning about the craft of what we're doing and how to use that to grow our business what our businesses is was absolutely incredible and you know I had to come on and do the video I'm not going to be able to do the live one o'clock video today because I've got to take my son uh to uh, Richmond to get uh, to his allergist but I wanted to come on and just do a short video and and kind of oh <laughs> yep, sorry, there's my cat I apologize. Anyways, I wanted to do a short video about, uh, uh, uh <laughs> hold on. I know the, his name is Captain. Say hello, Captain. Sorry. Um, <laughs> anyways, Captain, you're going to be a, you're going to be a YouTube hit, Captain. All right. Well, I'm going to move him out of the, <laughs> out of the room. But anyways, um, what I was, uh, what I was getting at was I had this amazing conversation with Miles and you know it it really just blew my mind and took me to all sorts of new places about thinking about us as you know actors business owners and and how we in our world today can online can really grow ourselves and go beyond just you know something singular uh you know something just simple as you know, our, you know, one, you know, one type of voice, one type of thing we do. Um, you know, if you know me, you know that I, I have an acting background. And, you know, I always, I, I always like to say the more you can do, you know, the more, uh, the more um, voices that you can do, or the more, the more types of expression that you can, that you can put out in the world, the more business you're going to get, right? I mean, it's just inevitable, because the more people you're going to be able to touch. But I think that more now than ever, it's so important that we focus on trying to understand and and tailor ourselves to what clients are looking for. But more importantly, being ourselves within the construct of what is being asked for, what is being looked for. Do you know what I mean? So like, for example, you know, if I'm you know just starting out and I'm trying to get work, the best course of action to do is to start going to sites, websites like Voquent, like Fiverr, like ACX, um, Voices, any of these sites and start diving in, not by necessarily joining them right off the bat, but by looking at them going through the site learning about them listening to the to the voice actors seeing who keeps coming up in searches like who's at the top seeing what they're doing you know get a good idea of what's happening and through that look the old adage in the theater too there's another one is that you know we borrow <laughs> we borrow good stuff right and that helps us grow all right, that's the truth. It's the same with what we do in voice acting. But we borrow it in a manner in which we we are our, ourselves, right? But at the same time, if someone wants to hire me or somebody, you know, people are looking for corporate narration, but they want corporate narration that is going to be nurturing or it's going to help their employees, uh, you know, feel a, a better about the stuff that they're asking them to do. Like, for example, you know, I work with uh, Circle K and and different companies, but I do some training for, you know, a Circle K franchise. And a lot of the training that I do for them has to do with tough issues that they have to go through. Like if there's a robbery or something happens, you know, where they have to like, you know, deal with angry customers and things like that. Well, you know, part of that is about me being professional, clearly, in my read and about me doing this, but it's also about me understanding that I'm trying to also build up these people, right? I'm trying to help them feel better about this scenario, feel more, you know, um, uh, feel more into what they're doing so that it's not as, you know, uh, it, it adds more tone and more context to what I'm doing by adding more of a nurturing tone to my professional read, more friendly, does that make sense? As opposed to me being more cold when I read, 
less friendly, more, you know, there's not emotion, there's not very much variation in what I'm doing. It's just very straightforward. And this is what you have to do. And that's that. You know what I mean? So I think that just that idea of learning all you can, and then taking that and trying to, you know, you know, putting your own self there, and trying to throw your own hat in the ring and ring and learning how to do that really will help you grow. And I, anyways, I just wanted to come on and say that uh, I just realized as I did this video, I think my camera is the wrong angle. I think it's supposed to be <laughs> the other way, but it is what it is. So, uh, cause this was a quick, this was a quick video, but Anyways, I just want to let you know, I'll be posting that uh, interview with Miles, um, the CEO, the founder and managing director of Voquint.com, um, which is an amazing uh, website, up and coming voice actor website for voice actors to get work. And that's a global website, deals with people all around the world. Um, pretty incredible. And uh, I'll be... Um, I'll be posting that podcast uh, soon, probably with the next day or two. But I just... You know, just thoughts from after that meeting and thinking about the business and all the people I work with, all the, the voice actors I'm fortunate to work with, you know, in the end, it boils down to you figuring out yourself, what the market wants, and how you can tailor who you are, right, to help people what they're looking for, okay, not change who you are. But help them get what they want through your experiences because that's in the end what people want. They're paying us for us to bring our voice and experiences to their brand or their service, right? All right, you guys. Have a wonderful day. I will catch up with you later. Thank you so much. Please like, share, follow, and uh, get as many people to watch this video and these videos on this YouTube as, as possible. I would love you forever. So would my cat. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Bye.